Good day. There is a possibility here in Sweden after the election and I want to tell you about it. And uh, the election is on Sunday. But before I can do this, I need to explain this scale that I use when I listen to people, politicians and political parties. You know, this traditional left to right scale. I use another one. Yeah. And I want to tell you about it. Uh, it's a scale of uh, fear, you might say. Yeah. How afraid are people? Yeah. And it works with the left and right scale too. If you go to the very far left, you will find people who are paranoid. They don't like people. They are afraid of people. Yeah, they are terrified. So they are looking for control mechanisms. They want totalitarian governments. They, this is fascism and communism. Yeah, so they basically want to control you. Yeah, that's why. And it's because of their fear, you see. Uh, and then there are people who are afraid. And they are looking for politicians and political solutions that will keep them safe. Yeah, a lot of them in this area. And in Sweden we have this big party that's been parked right there for a very long time getting a lot of voters because they tell people that we will keep you safe, you see. And this is of course the Social Democrats. Now this isn't working anymore because people are realizing that they are not safe, you see. So the, socially, the Social Democrats betrayed them and now people are voting for other parties. They are still looking for the parties that will keep them safe, yeah. And then further, you will find people with balls. Yeah. And you will find politicians and even parties with balls. Yes. Of course, in Sweden we have uh, the Sweden Democrats. And, but we also have the Moderate Party and the Christian Democrats. Not the parties as, as much, but there are individual politicians in these parties. And they talk about individual freedom and honor and such things, you see. They have a more basic trust in you as an individual. See, that's what it is. All right. So this is the possibility that we have in Sweden after the election. The politicians with balls could join forces. And then we have, of course, the Sweden Democrats. They might get 25%. And then the Moderate Party, they might get 20. That's 45. And then you have the Christian Democrats. And they might get uh, 7. You know? That's more than 50%. Yeah. There is a chance. And the good thing in Sweden right now is the new party. <laughs> you know, the Sweden Democrats, they have balls, yeah, they do. But then we have this new party, Alternative for Sweden, and they have huge ones. They say these outrageous things that nobody dares to say. People might think this, what they are saying, but they wouldn't dare saying it. No. And this is very good, because it will inspire others speak up. Yeah, I know the Moderate Party and the Christian Democrats, they are globalist parties. Yes, they are. But there are individuals in these parties that are pretty okay. Yeah. And you know, parties change. They do. All of a sudden you have a new leader or somebody speaks up and gets a lot of attention. You know, things happen. So, uh, and I'll, I'll give you one example from the Christian Democrats. They have a woman, um, her name is Schütte Dahl, I think. Yeah, I'm not so sure about this, but uh, I think it is Schütte Dahl. And she's a member of the board, the, yeah, in the party. And she's good. She did an interview 
for instance, uh, the other day, where she said, I want to cut the fundings for public service TV by 80%. It takes a lot of courage to say this in Swedish politics. Yeah. All right. That's what I wanted to tell you today. Bye.